What's up everybody, this is Barry at Titans of CNC. And today we're doing some pretty aggressive roughing using Kenna Metal's new neck Harvey 1 TE end mill. Using a neck tool allows us to be a little bit more aggressive than we could be with a fully fluted tool. And these are really neat because you're able to step down walls without leaving witness lines. So the neck of the tool is reduced by about 10 thousandths to the cutting edge, so you don't shank out, and you've got the added rigidity of the solid core of the end mill. So during the roughing of these pockets, we're stepping over 66%, which is pretty aggressive. And you'll notice that it sounds great. The tool's holding up great. We got very little deflection. The tool's really performing well. On these pockets, we're doing a 24 degree helix. This tool is actually capable of a 45 degree helix, but we decided to baby it a little bit for the sake of this video. When you're doing deep pockets, neck tools are great because they give you that added rigidity and you're not gonna shank out on the neck of your tool. When you're deciding what your step over should be, we need to be looking at material removal rates and the capabilities of the machine. Deck the halls with lots of blue chips. Ba -la 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 -la. So as usual, we're cutting without coolant and we're using through spindle air blow. And you see that we're getting some beautiful blue chips out of these cuts. So you may notice that we're getting a little bit smoky inside our work envelope, so all we had to do was pop on our LNS mist collector and cleared it right up. That's a wrap. Roughing with such an aggressive step over allowed us to keep the overall cycle time of this part under 15 minutes. And that's pretty good for the part being over 20 inches long and four inches wide. I hope you guys liked today's video. Please like and subscribe. Leave us some comments down below and I'll talk to you guys soon.